we, we don't make any apology about who we are down here. We're the seafood capital of Alabama. We've got shipyards that build big boats, but seafood's always been a mainstay. Seafood and boat building. We love fishing and you can't have the awesome fisheries that we have around here without a coastline or any sort of marsh habitat at all. You can't have these small hatcheries that feed the bigger species in which we love to go out and fish. There are some things, and nature's a big one, that if you take it for granted and it's gone, it becomes extremely difficult to get it back. And, and this is case in point, really. We've lost about 100 to 150 yards of shoreline. It's the storm surge, most of all, that comes in and just erodes it all. And it doesn't have to be a big hurricane. It could be a small tropical storm. If it has a storm surge, then it's eroding the coastline. We are providing a means to protect the point so that the seafood industry will have a place to dock their boats. Without the protection, storms would come through and just tear everything up all the way through. Having the shoreline restored is gonna make an impact for everyone that lives here. We're seeing the shoreline protected, we're showing a place for recreation and a place for the commercial fishermen. Before this project, Lightning Point was dwindling away, literally. And Lightning Point is a pretty vital part of the bayou. And in the bayou, you have the seafood industry, which is a pretty large part of Biola Battery's economy. So just protecting a shoreline play a huge role in the whole entire economy of a a small seafood town. This project touches on the key aspect of what it is to rebuild the coastal resilience for the coast of Alabama. And if we can't protect it from eroding, then they're not going to have a community here again. So being able to rebuild the shoreline back to what it used to be and provide more healthy habitat, we're able to supplement their livelihood and protect it for future generations to come. Lightning Point consisted of several components. We did some land acquisition. We designed and engineered a plan to restore one and a half miles of breakwater, as well as rebuild 40 acres of coastal habitat. You hate to come down here and see your beaches eroding. If you go back and look at old pictures, you can see that all of this used to be filled with marshland. In fact, there used to be picnic areas out here next to the, the pine trees just, you know, as early as like 2008, 2009, and all of that's gone too. These projects needed to be done before the oil spill. I mean, a project like this takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of funding. And a small town like Bile Battery cannot afford to rehab a, 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 you know, a shoreline like this. BP is allocated something around like $100 billion. And so they're using that money to do projects like this from here to Louisiana to get these projects done because before that, we wouldn't have been able to really. We are looking at the, the new West Marsh creation where we are sitting right now in the boat will all become new marsh habitat with uh, tidal creeks. There are still oyster habitats that are around here that are uh, pretty sensitive. We have to maintain that and monitor it daily. Through this project, we were able to acquire a significant amount of land around here. We protected 37 acres on the west side, another 10 acres here, and also help with the county to protect the significant acreage on the east side. And by that, we protect the wildlife corridor that connects all the way to the Mississippi-Alabama border. And with that, we're actually protecting migration habitat for the birds that are coming through the flyway all the way from South America, all the way up to Canada. And then in addition, all these habitats are important for supporting the fisheries offshore. It's really important that we protect the nature and keep it in a healthy ecosystem. Because without a healthy ecosystem, we wouldn't have nature thriving at the shipping. Now, it is progress to protect the, the water and the shoreline and, and the nurseries. And anytime you can do anything to help the fisheries and, and uh, protect the environment inside, it's, gonna, it's a long reaching effect of what, what it takes to keep your, your environment ready to catch fish and shrimp out of. Any project I've ever done, it's always been rewarding seeing the finished project. 
But instead of handing over a building to a new owner, this is you're handing over a new habitat that's been created, new marshland, new uh, hatcheries. And you're handing this over to a town that their economy is pretty close, wholly based on the seafood industry. And so you get a bigger reward out of it. It's neat to, you know, to say you give them back and created something that, that will be out here for a long time and hopefully help out the community in the bayou.